receiving goods from HQ and delivering to a customer and indicating that the customer has been paid for the items. Again, for training and demonstration purposes, all names and addresses are fictitious. However, catalogue codes, descriptions and prices are current to the relevant catalogue company. So from our dashboard screen, we then uh, have received our order from HQ and we need to uh, mark this as received and deliver to the customers. So I go to my order screen and then go to waiting for goods. So they're the two orders that we processed earlier. If I double click one of the orders, these are the items that I'm expecting from HQ. And now I'm going to assume that all of those items have arrived. So I check those off, then I say ready for delivery. And then at this point, um, I will just click save finished, or I might print uh, a bag ID label, which would then allow me to um, print a label, stick that onto the bag, and then add the items into that. Because at this point, I don't know when I'm going to deliver to the customer. Click save finished then that particular order is no longer waiting for goods. I can then go to Mrs. Jones, do exactly the same, check the items off. Now it might be one of these items actually came back as uh, out of stock or on back order. Uh, so we can't charge a customer for these and we need to notify them of that. So I double click on the item in question. And then at the bottom, I simply click on back order and you'll notice that it takes the value of the item off the order. It still shows it on the order because we need to make the customer aware that it um, is still uh, potentially going to arrive, but they're not going to pay for it at this point. And then I can click ready for delivery, finish to save, and that then clears that list. I can then click the ready for delivery button and that will show those items now moved over to this process. So I can then double click on each one, phone the customer and then decide with them when the best time is to deliver it. So this order it might be I'm going to deliver tomorrow and it might be between 9 and 10 a.m. I can then print the delivery note. And we'll just preview on screen. That will then print an order delivery note for the customer with the contact details, the order date, the delivery date, and then the items that you're delivering to them along with the amount that's due, giving a total amount. Then at the bottom of this, obviously we're thanking them for the order, a total amount. We've got a tear off bit that we can then attach to the bag so that it saves scrabbling through loads of bags when we're trying to deliver the items and working out which order is for which person. And also the price is shown as well, because so quite often the customer will say, oh, how much is it I owe you? Uh, and it saves uh, opening the bag, trying to pull out the receipt for that. So once that's done, we can then just click Finish and Save. And if we do uh, the same for the, um, the next order, so Mrs. Jones, we're going to deliver on the 5th. In fact, we're not going to deliver on the 5th. We will deliver on the 11th. Click Save Finished. OK, I don't need to import a list. Now, you'll notice that one of the items is now missing. You think, well, hang on, I've got two orders ready for delivery. Well, it's because one of the items now is on back order. So if we double click on that, you can see there the item is that's on back order. Once we have got all the items there, we've got a facility that we can print a delivery listing for all the orders. So that just helps as we're going through listing um, where we're delivering to 
uh, and we can then just put a tick to say whether they've paid or not. So once we come back to the office and they have paid for the goods, we simply double click on the order. All the items were paid for. We can click all available items delivered and paid for. The cash drawer will open. We'll say how they paid. It was cash. Click save to finished. Job done. And then if I can then see that that's now featuring in my completed orders area. You'll also notice that in the account screen that we now we've got payments from customers and the um, monetary balance has increased and the balance in the till has increased from the customer payment.